So now we can look at some stoichiometry. So in this process, we're going to compare the amount of substance from, you know, of some reactants to products or products to reactants, or basically comparing things within the reaction. And if you were to interpret the um, chemical equation, you can say, you can think about it as molecules, you know, two molecules of hydrogen react with, with one molecule of oxygen to make two molecules of water, or you can think about it on a mole scale, so scale it up. Remember, there's a lot of molecules, or 6.02 times 10 to the 23 molecules in one mole. Um, so but it's easier to talk about two moles of hydrogen react with one mole of oxygen to make two moles of water. All right, so we're going to use that interpretation. What you can't do is you can't compare directly from grams to grams. I can't say if I had two grams of hydrogen, I'm going to make two grams of water. Um, I need to be able to convert from grams to moles, and then I can compare moles to moles. And then I can convert from moles to grams again, so I can make like a molar mass sandwich. So we'll look at that. Um, so, for example, in this problem, you're starting off with one gram of glucose, right, one gram of glucose. Um, in order to figure out how many grams of water you're making, you have to go from grams to moles. This is, again, just a molar mass, right, so we're going to find a molar mass here. And then you'll convert from uh, moles to moles. So for every one mole of glucose, I get six moles of water. So that's where this one to six comes from. This is the chemical equation. Stoichiometry, stoichiometric coefficients, and then I want to compare from. Um, then I can go once I have moles of water, I can get to grams of water by using another molar mass. So it's molar mass, chemical equation, molar mass. Or if you want to see it laid out with units, if you're starting off with grams, you're going to go from. Oh, oh sorry, let's go from grams to moles, and then moles to moles, moles of one thing to moles of the other thing. And then you can get to grams of the other thing. So grams of A to moles of A, moles of A to moles of B, moles of B to grams of B. So how do you go from grams to moles? That's a molar mass. How do you go from moles to moles? You use the chemical equation. And then how do you go from moles to grams? It's another molar mass. So for both for these problems, you're going to need two molar masses, whatever you're starting with, and then the molar mass of whatever you're looking for. And then the only time you have something in front of the moles is when you're comparing uh, moles of one thing to moles of the other using the chemical equation. Remember, molar mass is always you know, grams, lots of grams per one mole. So you should have one mole over here, one mole over here, and then in the middle is where you have your something in front of the moles. So in this problem here, you're starting off with um, 2 KClO3, potassium chlorate, which is decomposing into potassium chloride and oxygen. And they want to know if you're starting off with 4.5 grams of the potassium chlorate, how many grams of oxygen are you finding? Um, so you can find the grams of uh, potassium chloride as well. They're asking us about oxygen. So the molar masses that we need, we need the molar mass of the KClO3, and we need the molar mass of the O2. So that's the best place to start. Start finding your molar masses, because then you can just piece everything together. So you remember how to find the molar mass. Um, if you go to the periodic table, um, you're looking at your potassium, 39. Point 090, and then you have um, carbon, you have chlorine, and oxygen. So just use, oops, use the way we usually find the, the molar mass, which you should be experts at right now. So pause the video, calculate that molar mass. You should get 122.45 grams per mole. And then oxygen, uh, oxygen is a 16, right? And we have two of those. You should know oxygen by now, right? Oxygen is about 16. Um, so 32 is your molar mass for the oxygen. Now, to set this up, um, you're basically looking at this chemical equation. You have grams of potassium chlorate. You're trying to find grams of oxygen. So you can set this up this way. I have grams of potassium chlorate. I want to go from grams to grams. Uh, yep. Sorry, grams to moles using molar mass. Moles to moles, moles to grams. So grams to moles, moles to moles, moles to grams. How do I go from grams to moles? Molar mass. How do I go from moles to moles? Chemical equation. How do I go from moles to grams? That's another molar mass. So what goes where? If I'm starting off with potassium chlorate, I want grams of potassium chlorate on the bottom, and I want moles of potassium chlorate on top. Here I'm comparing moles to moles, so I want 
moles of potassium chloride on the bottom. I want moles of oxygen on top because that's what I'm looking for. Whatever you're starting with is on the bottom. Whatever you're looking for goes on top. That way my grams of potassium chloride can't cancel here. My moles of potassium chloride cancel here. Moles of oxygen, so I need moles of oxygen over here and grams of oxygen on top. So if I'm starting off with 4.5 grams of potassium chlorate, I'm going to use this first molar mass, 122.45, for one mole. And then moles to moles, I have to come up here and look at the chemical equation. I have two moles of potassium chlorate for three moles of oxygen. So my two moles of potassium chlorate go there, my three moles of oxygen go on top. And then molar mass is always lots of grams per one mole. So do you see how the molar mass here is on the bottom, and then the molar mass on this side is on the top? You're starting off with grams, you're going to grams to moles, then moles to moles, moles to grams. Um, don't forget this step, this is very important. If everything, if all the, the stoichiometric coefficients are all one, then you can actually get the right answer, even if that's wrong, or if it's two and two, then same thing, if you skip that, uh, you'll be fine, but you'll lose points on the test. I need to see that you understand the concept. You're going from grams to moles using molar mass, moles to moles using the chemical equation, and moles to grams using the molar mass. Whatever you're starting with is your first molar mass, that's going to go on the bottom. Whatever you're ending with is um, the second molar mass, that's going to go on top. And then the mole to mole ratio, whatever you're starting with is on the bottom, wherever you're going is on top. All right, so the last step is to put this into your calculator. And so you're going to want to do everything on top, and then get every number, multiply everything on the bottom, and then do the top number divided by the bottom number, and you get the final answer. So in your calculator, you have 4.5 times 1 times 3 times 32, get a number. And then on the bottom, you're going to have 122.45 times 2 times 1, get a number. And then do the top number over the bottom number. Okay, so for the top, I got 432. On the bottom, I got 244.9. And when you do 432 divided by 244.9, you get 1.76 grams, and that's grams of oxygen, and that's your final answer. So make sure you do a whole bunch of those for homework. There's a ton of homework problems like that. Um, this concept we're going to see again in the next section when we talk about limiting reactants.